Tired of laggy internet and drop connections? Let's ditch those frustrations and supercharge your home network by setting up your Verizon Fios G310 Wi-Fi 6 router. First things first, unbox your G310 router inside. You should find the router itself, a power adapter, an Ethernet cable, and some documentation. Make sure you have all these items before proceeding. Now, let's connect the cables. Take the Ethernet cable and plug one end into the WAN port on the back of the G310. It's usually blue and labeled WAN or Internet. Connect the other end to the Ethernet port on your optical network terminal or ONT. Provided by Verizon, this is the box where your fiber optic line comes into your home. Next, plug the power adapter into the back of the router and then into a wall outlet. Press the power button to turn the router on. Wait a few minutes for the router to boot up completely, which is indicated by the light stabilizing. Once the router is powered on, grab your computer or smartphone and connect to the default Wi-Fi network. The network name and password can be found on a sticker on the router itself after connecting. Open a web browser and type in the router's default IP address, which is usually 19216811 or something similar. Refer to the router's documentation. If you're unsure, you'll be prompted to log in use the default username and password. Also found on the router sticker now, the most important step change the default network name and password to something strong and unique to protect your network navigate to the wireless settings and make these changes. For optimal performance, Experiment with different Wi-Fi channels, use a Wi-Fi analyzer app on your smartphone to identify the least congested channel in your area and select it in the router settings. This minimizes interference and improves your Wi-Fi speed. And that's it. You've successfully set up your Verizon Fios G310 Wi-Fi 6 router run a speed test to confirm you're getting the speeds you're paying for if you encounter any issues like connectivity problems. Check all your cable connections and reboot the router and enjoy your blazing fast internet.